Brent and Sarah, right now we are live at the corner of State and Union Street in New London, where any moment we are awaiting a live news conference where we are expected to learn all the details about what happened here. But right now, let me step out of the way and show you what we know. You can see the devastation, this church almost completely collapsing. This all started at about 1.30 this afternoon. This is the Engaging Heaven Church. It's the former first congregational church. It was sold a few years ago. Now, this church dates back to the 1800s. And as you can see, there is just a cascade of rubble out of the center of this church. It completely collapsed. The steeple was what went first and then the surrounding structure as well. So there are a massive amount of emergency resources here in New London. They brought multiple fire departments in. The state police are here. There are even uh, people from the New London uh, Groton subbase who are here investigating. They have cadaver dogs. They have the bomb squad here. What we can tell you right now, which is the best news of all, is that there are very likely no injuries involved in this. Now, we can't confirm that 100% because what we're told is that they do a lot of meal giveaways, helping the homeless on the front lawn, which is why they want to make sure nobody is trapped underneath that rubble. But from what we're being told, they do not believe anyone was injured. I did speak a few moments ago with a man who just happened to be passing by this church at the exact moment it collapsed. He saw it all happen. Here's what he had to say. Yes, um, I was coming down um, State Street. I parked my car. I was on the phone talking. About two, three minutes later, I hear this loud, thunderous boom. I looked to my left. The whole church was as a whole. I saw it. And then all of a sudden, it just collapsed. It was like a waterfall, and everything just went forward except the steeple. The steeple went back, and that was kind of weird because I thought it would come this way, but it went that way. I jumped back, um, turned the car back on. I drove up this way, got out, and then I started videotaping. Uh, what was going through your mind? Uh, I hate to say it, but 9-11, because <laughs> all the debris, the smoke and everything, and I, the first thing I said was, I hope no one is in there. And then that's when everybody started coming out and trying to see if anybody was in there. There was one lady in there. She was working in the back of the church in the office. And she heard it. She thought it was a whirlwind. But then she started hearing evacuate, evacuate. So she jumped up and ran out. And we know that uh, the lady who was inside the church at the time, her name was Teresa, and she was able to make it out uh, safely. The church itself did put out a statement on their Facebook page saying, quote, we know many are aware there has been a collapse at the church. At this time, no one is hurt. Everyone is accounted for. So that's the greatest news here. Governor Lamont also putting out a statement a short time ago saying, and I quote, I am in communication with the state police, emergency management officials, regarding the church collapse in New London. We've deployed state emergency services personnel and equipment to assist in the response efforts. I urge everyone in the area to follow the direction of law enforcement and other first responders who are working to keep the community safe, end quote. So as I mentioned, any moment now we're expected uh, to have somebody step to the podium for a live news conference where we're going to hear more details on this church collapse. Uh, but as you can see, certainly a devastating and very very scary situation for people here in the downtown. For now, we're live in New London. Matt Karen, Fox 61, Connecticut's news station.